All right, man, the Detroit Lions get revenge. Revenge is just too sweet. Remember that back in the day? Um, they get epic revenge on the um, Dallas Cowboys. I mean, this was an ass whooping. Uh, prayers go out to Aiden Hutchinson. Like he might have broke his um, his leg, his lower leg, that shin. You know, that's one of the, I think, one of the stronger parts of the body, too. That shin is hard to break, so... He probably going to be gone for quite some time. And, you know, who knows if he's going to come back the same player off that injury. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if the break was clean or or whatever. They got to put a rod in his leg. But, you know, it is what it is. We know we needed an additional pass rusher regardless. And our prayers go out to him and his family. And, you know, um, he was on the cusp of probably getting a contract extension uh, not too long ago. And that was the only downside to this victory. And, you know, the people probably saying, well, why were they still playing their players? Well, you got to play your players. Yeah, yeah, you got to pay your players at that point. Yeah, you got to play them. Um, you have to play them. You know, it might be so, why, why, why do you feel like you have to play your players at that point? Um, you know, one of the reasons why you have to play your players at that point, because we've seen Dallas come back versus the Baltimore Ravens. Simple as that. We've seen them come back versus the Baltimore Ravens. So Dak can get comebacks, so you keep your players in there. And um, But from the beginning, this game, you know, the, you know, the Cowboys offense, you know, the Lions got to work on stop being so handsy. They was bailed out by the Lions being, by the Lions being handsy. Jack Campbell got a couple holding calls. Brian Branch got a holding calls. And all them holding calls was valid. So the Lions got to continue to work on not holding, you know. But I like what Tom Brady said. He said they're going to play sticky coverage and they're going to live with some of them, them penalties. They're going to live with them. In the in a, in a, in a NFL in the 90s, you know, or in the early 2000s and back, those are not holding calls. That's good football. That's good, valid football. But you have to make the adjustment. Um Terry on made some good plays. Carlton Davis, before you came out, made some good plays. Um, Kirby Joseph, Brian Branch had a great interception. I think that was the nail in the coffin. When Dallas threw that pick six in the end zone, that was the nail in the coffin, in my humble opinion. Uh, when they threw that that pick, not that pick six, that pick in the end zone by Dak, that was a nail. But it was a good read by Dak, to be honest. It was just a better play by Branch. Branch had Tolbert in the flat, you know, and maybe if, I thought he was going to throw it to Tolbert and it was going to be a touchdown because I didn't see Branch, but Brant kind of flatlined that that coverage to the flat. And he took away that corner. That was just great recognition by by Brian Branch, you know, on that. And that, that was it. Once they threw that pick in the red zone, that was absolutely it. I mean, golf didn't have to do much. No pressure on golf for real. No Michael, no Demarcus Lawrence. 315, three touchdowns. He was sacked twice. You know, uh, Montgomery was the star of the show. 12 carries, 80 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, he should have had three touchdowns with the penalty. 12 carries for Gibbs, 63 yards. Montgomery did the lifting. J-Mo had three catches, 76 yards, one TD, one bomb. Tim Patrick had, the, you know, play that really kind of kept it going on third down. He made adjustment, made a deep ball catch. So, you know, um, you know, so, you know, St. Brown, you know, he did get in the end zone, didn't do too much. Laporta had to. The 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 uh, the trickery touchdown. So, you know, they were in their bag and they was trying to get an offensive lineman a touchdown to smash it in Dallas' face. So they did try to do that. You know, um, so they had a few fumbles, whatever they recovered. You know, we recovered. Terry Young recovered the fumble late in the game. You know, um, Malcolm Rodriguez recovered one. I mean, we just demolished them. And this was a chip on their shoulder from last year. For people not understanding why was this game so important, you know, to the Detroit Lions, for the most part, they cheated us last year. That's exactly what it was. They cheated us. They cheated us. They cheated us. They cheated us in that in that game. And really, we thought we was gonna get our our uh our our we thought we were gonna get our uh uh our get back in the playoffs. That's what we really thought. We thought we was gonna get our get back in the playoffs, and they lost to Green Bay. So. You know, I remember Aiden Hutchinson saying after the game, you know what I'm saying, that uh, we was kind of di- – after they beat Tampa last year in the playoffs. It was not Tampa. After they beat uh, – oh, man, I forget, uh, Los Angeles, that they was hoping they was going to play Dallas. And they kind of was a little bit of a letdown. 
So that that was the backstory. What they cheated last year. So that was the backstory, and um, like I said before, um, so you know that was important. And for the most part, man, they they played the Rothen Kirby had a pick at the end of the game too. He had a pick. Yep. Brian Branch had two interceptions. Kirby had a pick. Um, you know, um, sacks. Uh, Lane McNeil had two big ones. Trevor Knowles got off the practice squad, got had one. I think he was off practice squad. Hutch had one when he went down. So they got after him, and for the most part, for Dallas, offensively ain't show up. Kept CD under 100. Tober had a couple catches. No, they wasn't going to run the ball unless they can't run the ball regardless. So they wasn't going to run the ball on one of the best run defenses. And, you know, for the most part, uh, Detroit dominated. Detroit strictly dominated. And they tried to rub it in their face, and the refs kept saving their ass from the offensive line and getting the championship. You know? So... So um, they saved him. So, you know, but other than that, you know, Hutchinson is the big story. We speak on that another day, another time. Uh, more uh, how you feel those shoes. And you had to get another pass rusher anyway. You know, they had a watch party at Four Field. And, you know, Lions just dominated. The Lions dominated. The Lions dominated. I mean, they, I didn't hear a Dallas Cowboy fan say nothing all day. We dominated. That's what it was, straight domination. You know, straight domination. Ran the ball, threw the ball, did trick plays on them, and this game was personal. This game was personal. This was personal. This was a personal game. Very, very personal. So, um, but other than that, ain't pretty much too, too much else to say on it. This was a smack it down on a Rudy Pooh. You know, they know they didn't have a chance. And, we, and this was them coming off. This was them going into their bye. This was them going on a bye. This was them going on a bye. So this 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 team got a swagger to it. They walk with a chip on their shoulder. Uh, uh, next man up mentality. Um, this was this was domination. This was personal. Dallas didn't have a chance, and I think it didn't. It couldn't happen in a better venue. It happened right at their place. So that's what they get for cheating us last year. This time, this time, we left no stone unturned. We left no stone unturned. I mean, you know, we ran all over them, threw all over, trick played all them. Defense dominated. I think Kirby Joseph is starting to get his recognition as one of the better. That's one of the better uh, de defenders out there, de defenders in general, you know. And we sent Dallas to three and three, and it seemed like they should be a little bit worse than three and three. And they came out there with the all whites on, you know. And Washington lost today, so they could have made some ground, but Philly won. This 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 was beautiful, but you know, even in Jubilee, we still got a big question on that line. I mean, Pascal made some noise in the backfield, you know. So, you know, the best thing that happened to the Lions, honestly, was is getting like, Levi Anzarike back. That was the best thing that happened to him. Because, you know, he doing a lot. Picking up DJ Reader was great, too. You know what I'm saying? Picking up DJ Reader was great, too. You know, so unfortunately, 
you know, yeah, unfortunately for us, um, we got questions to ask about about getting another pass rusher. And, and that's the nature of the beast. And you want to sit there and be like, man, you know, that's messed up for Hutch. You know what I'm saying? And we can't harp on that. We can't harp on that. You know? We literally can't sit there and harp on it. You know, but we got to replace them. It's next man up mentality. Um, but to be honest with you, uh, this was this was fulfilling victory. So next week we own the Minnesota. It's the biggest. Um, this the biggest game of the year. We're going to go in there without Hutch going into Minnesota. They had his fish grease. I think they had a buy this week, right? I think Minnesota had a buy this week. Um. Yeah, I think they had a buy this week. So they hot as fish grease right now. So, yep, they had a buy this week. So we playing them off the buy. So that's going to be spooky, man. So that's a really good football team right there. Um, you know, Brian Flores has got them playing pretty well. So, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Uh, check out Detroit Lions post-game reaction playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon. Oh, was, that's it. Uh, check out my other channels, uh, Goodfella TV, links in the description, my main channel, Free Game 89, and my Patreon on both of those channels. Appreciate y'all. Lions win 47-9 to nine over the Dallas Cowboys. Utter uh, domination. Revenge is just too sweet. Ooh. And my mind, D-Macho Man Savage.